Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading The Magic School Bus Gets Baked in a Cake, a book about kitchen chemistry. Our teacher, Miss Frizzle, is always surprising us, so on her birthday we decided to surprise her. We planned a big party. We had balloons, streamers, confetti, and even noisemakers. We thought of everything, said Carl. Carlos, but Arnold wasn't so sure. Something's missing, he said. Dorothy Ann was the only one who was not getting ready for the party. She was finishing her chemistry experiment. What are, th what are you working on at a, at, on a time like this? asked Carlos. Dorothy Ann explained, I'm mixing three things together, water, sand, and cement to make something new, concrete. That's chemistry. That's when Arnold shouted, I know what's missing, a birthday cake. We decided to put away the party things for later. We were upset, but what was it? but what was a birthday cake without a what was a birthday without a cake? When Miss Frizzle came in, she saw our sad faces. I see you've you've heard the news, she said. The bus is not working well, so we won't be able to go to the bakery. I think I have to cancel our chemistry field trip. Bakery what does a what does a bakery have to do with chemistry said ralphie a bakery is a small chemical factory said the frizz dorothy ann added baking is chemistry because things are mixed together to make something new suddenly carlos realized that a bakery did indeed make something new cakes oh miss frizzle he said our education won't be complete without a, without a trip to this chemical factory. Maybe the bus can get us to the bakery, said Miss Frizzle. Class, it's time for a field trip. Somehow the bus did get us there, but as soon as we, we arrived, the bus began hopping and stretching, and then it shrank to the size of a toy car with us in it. How are we ever... How will we ever get inside the bakery now? asked Wanda. Miss Frizzle wasn't worried. She pushed a button. Suddenly, the tiny bus sailed through the, the mail slot of the bakery door. Inside, we could see a baker and some customers. While the bus zoomed around the bakery, we took a good look at the cakes. Not one was chocolate. What do we do? whispered Arnold. The frizz likes chocolate. Carlos thought hard. We'll bake a cake, he said. It will be our chemistry experiment, said Dorothy Ann. How will we get Miss Frizzle out of the bakery? asked Wanda. We, we don't want her to see what we're doing. Carlos remembered in an auto parts store next to the bakery. He told the frizz that it might have the parts she needed to fix the bus. Miss Frizzle thanked him, put on her jet jetpack, and took off. She left Liz in charge. By this time, the bus was the size of a moth. When the baker saw it flying around, he became angry. He got his fly swatter and chased us around the kitchen. Finally, Liz set the bus down behind some jars. The baker couldn't see us. Luckily, some customers came into the shop, so the baker left us alone. Come on, said Carlos. We've got, to, we've got work to do. He began to read a cookbook. First, we have to gather and measure the ingredients. Everyone had a job. Ralphie got two eggs, but one egg got away from him. Wanda and Tim got the flour and sugar. Liz found a way to measure the salt and cream of tartar. Arnold had some trouble carrying the baking soda. First, he bumped into Dorothy Ann. Then he knocked over a bottle of vinegar. When the baking soda spilt onto the vinegar, there was quite a reaction. Keisha poured the milk, while Phoebe somehow got the butter. And Ralphie finally caught the runaway egg at exactly the right moment. Just then, Miss Frizzle came by. Dorothy Ann thought fast. She had to keep the frizz away from the cake we were baking. 
Miss Frizzle, could you help me with a chemistry experiment? She asked. They began to experiment with the vinegar and baking soda. The rest of us struggled with the measuring. The ingredients were bigger than we were. This is hard when this is hard when you're half the size of a hot dog, explained Arnold or complained Arnold. It could be worse, Ralphie told him. Suddenly it was. The bus rattled and shook. Then it shrank again, and so did we. E even tiny in grains of salt and sugar looked like building blocks and diamonds. Let's go, called Carlos. We've got to make this cake before the baker catches us. He was right. So we hopped on the bus and whipped into action. Last of all, we added the, the best and most delicious ingredient, the chocolate. You might say the bus did all the work. But the baker was our problem. When he saw the bus in action, he thought it was the moth again. So he called the bug control company. For some reason, no one there believed that a moth could, could bake a cake. Meanwhile, Dorothy Ann and Miss Frizzle were still doing chemistry experiments. When the Frizz wanted to find the rest of us, Dorothy Ann had to stop her. What would happen if I put a whole bunch of baking soda into a bottle with the vinegar, she said, or she asked. The Frizz loved the idea. There's only one way to find out, she said. So Dorothy Ann filled the bottle. The mixture fizzed over. It was a gas. Then Dorothy Ann put a balloon over the top of the bottle. The gas pushed out the sides of the balloon. The balloon got bigger and bigger. Just like a tire filling with air, said Dorothy Ann. That, that reminded me, Miss Frizzle, of the bus. The bus needs new tires, she said. As the frizz blasted off to check the bus tires, Dorothy Ann's balloon popped. Everyone cheered, though, because Miss Frizzle hadn't seen us. We went back to work. The next step is to mix all the ingredients together, said Carlos. Once again, the bus helped us. As it beat the batter, it forced in air. Ralphie reminded us the cooks, that cooks and chemists are really alike. They both measure out ingredients, he said, and mix them together to make something new. The only difference is that cooks get to taste what they make. The baker was looking for us again. We had to do something quickly. Submarine down, down, yelled Carlos. With that, the bus dove into the batter. When the baker saw the bowl of batter, he was surprised. When did I make this, he wondered. I must be going, going donuts. He poured the batter onto a pan and put it, onto the, put it into the oven. Things began to heat up. Why is it getting so hot, cried Wanda. I am pleased to announce, said Carlos, the addition of the last ingredient heat. Ralphie gasped. Carlos? Yes, said Yes, said Carlos. We're in the oven. That meant one thing. We were about to become dessert. Just when we'd started to panic, Ralphie pointed to a funny figure moving through the batter. Liz opened the, the bus door and the frizz came in. Whew, she said. It feels like somebody forgot to put up the heat shield. Quickly, Liz pressed a button, and the shield went up. The temperature dropped. As I always say, said the frizz, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the, get out of the oven. Yell, look, yelled Phoebe. The, the batter's moving, Dorothy Ann explained. According to my research, the baking soda is making bubbles. The batter's, the batter's not the only thing getting pushed around, pointed out Arnold. He was right. The bus was also moving. We could hear a strange noise, too. It's steam, said Carlos. The, fizz, the frizz didn't seem worried. It was so hot that the water in the batter is becoming vapor, she said. It's making bubbles. Wanda noticed something else. The batter is starting to look like a kind of solid, she said. And so it was. The cake was done. Oh no, exclaimed Arnold. We're going to have our cake 
We're going to have our cake and be and be eaten too. Things did look bad. Miss Frizzle tried some levers on the bus, but nothing worked. We're doomed, cried Arnold. Wait, I've got an idea, said Dorothy Ann. Do we have any baking soda and vinegar left? Luckily, we did. You see, said Dorothy Ann, baking soda put plus vinegar equals, Carlos finished, finished for her, the gas pressure we need to push us out of here. They were right. Carlos put a balloon over the end of the container. Then he and Dorothy Ann put it on the back of the bus. The rest of us put on our seat belts. When the baker took the cake out of the oven, the bus flew out of the cake. The baker chased us, but we got away through the, through the mail slot. Back at school, things were normal again. Well, as normal as they, they ever are with Miss Frizzle. We had a great party, and she really seemed surprised. At least, she was very pleased when she asked, Class, where did you get such a lovely cake? We giggled. <laughs> Carlos explained, The baker just gave it to us. Sa said it was ruined. Something about a moth. Miss Frizzle laughed and said, Chemistry is a piece of cake. She was right. What have we learned today, my friends? We have learned that cooking is fun and baking is exciting. Also, we learned that science is even found in a bakery. Stay sweet, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.